episode we're going to be talking about light. So what is the definition of light? Definition the definition of light is the natural agent that stimulates sight and makes things visible. So that just means that without light you can't see. Can you? It is impossible to see other things when the light is off. So, sometimes light can be produced by things. And other times, things need light. Examples, these are types of objects that need or make light. Example, there are two types. There's non-luminous and luminous. Let's start with luminous. Luminous are the objects, just by their name, that make like light by themselves, as in the sun and the stars and, li and lightning bugs. So those are the examples of luminous objects. So non-luminous objects are objects that rely on other things to give them light. That include the moon and also you and animals and plants. All of these animals need all of these things need the sun's light and other light sources. So there's two types of light sources. There's natural and artificial. So let's start with natural. Nat the natural are the sun, the stars, and the moon. Just by their name, they are natural. They are not man-made. Then there's artificial, which are man-made. And there is lamp. And there is also street. torch, street lights, and so on and so on. So, next is reflection of light. But before that, we have some guests. Please welcome. Blocky the scientist and Tom the robot. They will be talking about reflection. So, thank you our human friends for allowing us to teach you about reflection of light. So first, what is light? So light is the natural agent that stimulates sight and makes you to see. Okay, in another way, to be simple and not that much scientific, it just means that light is the agent that makes you see. Okay, so does it mean that you cannot see without light? Yes, anytime there's blackouts, can you see? No, unless yes. I put on the candle. Yes, but still, the candle is a form of light. Yeah. So speaking about light, do you know light can light is only going in a wave? Light is a wave and a particle at the same time. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Light is light is a particle and a wave. Okay. It moves in ways, it can move in two ways. A proton like a particle or it can move in a wave. So that's something that I should remember, right? That's something you have to remember. So have you ever asked yourself who made light bulbs or how they come about? My brother will mention some of your people who contributed in making the light bulb. So there are two that are mostly known in the United States. Their names are Nikolaus Tesla, that was actually from the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. 
that before was an empire and he was born in modern day Croatia. So he was one. The second one is Thomas Edison. The third one is, is an African American. His name is called Louis Howard Latimer. Louis Howard Latimer made the light bulb that we now see today. Thomas Edison make other ones that we can't use still. Before at that time, we could use them, but now we are not using them. So they weren't efficient enough. So that just means they weren't efficient enough. So now let's see how light moves. As we know, light moves in a way and particles too. Sometimes it can go in a ray, which is rarely seen because light always goes in a beam. So many rays make a beam, same as many centimeters make a meter. Pretty easy to understand, right? So now we know how, how light moves let's go to reflection of light it's just when light hits a surface and the surface throws it back it's called reflecting of light many things can reflect the light even you you reflect light but not all not all objects reflect light there's many types of object that either does not or do reflect light Example, um, here are the three major types. There's opaque, which reflect, which reflects all light and absorbs some. Then there's, then there's translucent that takes some sun, sunlight in, but not all the light that it can be called transparent that takes all the light. So that's how everything works. Us humans are opaque due to that the light bounces off from us. It doesn't like just absorb it to our body. And if you have ever asked yourself how, how you will be able to look at the mirror and you can see the perfect image of yourself on the mirror, it's just that light comes on your face, bounces from your face to the mirror, then bounces from the mirror to your eyes. What a bouncy chip that is. So here's a riddle you have to, you have to answer. What can go into water, but does not get wet? We'll answer the question at the end of this video. Well, as you are thinking, tell us in the comment section below your answer. So here's an experiment you can try at home to bend light. So first what you need is a pen or a pencil, a glass filled with water. First you put the pen or pencil inside the glass, then pour the water in. Then it will look like the pen is broken, as shown. But it isn't. When you take it out, it's completely still straight. What happened? You bended the light. The, it's just an illusion as if you just broke your pen. Because anytime light goes from one from one type of substance to another, as in from the air to the water, it has to bend. But you're asking us, what does a pencil have to do with light? You're seeing that pencil with light, right? As simple as that. Plus, you, the light is bouncing from the pencil into your eyes and then back to the pencil and into your eyes so you can see the pencil. So, you just bent light. So, that is an experiment that can bend light. Here's a fun fact. Light is... White light is not made up of only white. 
<laughs> white light is made up of all the spectrum colors of, of the rainbow. rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. What do you believe? That's just the way some people like to call it. Roy G. Biff. So you can, but the light, the way light moves, goes higher each time you move to another place. So we can only see a small spectrum of the light, which is called the visible light, which is Roy G. Biff. But there's more that we cannot see like gamma rays and x-rays and many many more that we cannot see because they are they are too small and we can and our eyes are, are limited limited to only seeing colored that's why we have made machines so that we can see them in our colors that we can see so now we have learned that we cannot see some other rays except the the colored rays that is Roy G. Biv and some other colors. So that's the way to understand it. So we can only see a small spectrum of light, but we can see many, many more using lots of different machines that we have made so that we'll be able to expand our knowledge to the universe. So the answer to the riddle that we put in this video is light or sound because of both our energy, so energy cannot get wet. But light, if it goes into water, it will get a little bended. So we have come to the end of our video. Thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell to watch more of our videos. Bye guys and have a happy day.